Hey guys, so classmate asked, what are Hox genes? To understand Hox genes, we'll be looking at the model organism Drosophila, or the fruit fly. We know the shape of a normal fruit fly. It has a head followed by a thorax and then an abdomen. But the question is, how does the body know where each section goes? Why is it that we don't see these parts flipped around in nature? Well, thanks to a certain set of genes, known as homeotic genes, the body of the fly and many other organisms are able to develop in the order that we have always seen it develop. Homeotic genes, also known as selector genes, are responsible for determining the identity of a particular structure or segment of the body. Some common homeotic genes in the fruit fly are ancinopedia and ultrabithorax. When these genes experience mutations, we get flies with legs instead of an antenna growing out of their heads, and the duplication of the thorax and wings, respectively. In order to prevent such mutations, homeotic genes encode a transcription factor that is expressed in a specific region of the fly starting early in its development as an embryo. The transcription factor changes the expression of target genes to enact the genetic program that's right for each segment. Each of these transcription factors contain a DNA binding protein called the homeodomain, which in turn is encoded by a segment of DNA called the homeobox, also known as our Hox genes. Hox genes are arranged in clusters, with their order on the chromosome mirroring the order they appear in the body. For example, genes on the left of the chromosome control the front, and genes on the right control the back. These Hox genes must be carefully regulated, or else we will get the mutations that we have seen before, which is not useful for the survival of these organisms in the wild. In flies, these regulations come from the proteins of gap and pair rule genes, which are themselves regulated by the maternal genes, which all tell the Hox genes to turn on in specific patterns. However, Hox genes are not only found within these model flies. Different animal species have Hox genes, including humans, which hints at a common ancestry between different species with similar Hox genes. Likewise, these Hox genes have been found to occur in a similar order on the chromosome across different species, duplicating over evolutionary history to exist as similar gene clusters. These discoveries would not have been found without the work of scientists throughout many decades. William Bateson first identified the presence of homeotic genes in 1894. The first homeotic mutant was found in Thomas Hunt Morgan's lab in 1915, and such research laid the foundations for Edward Lewis, Christiana Nislein Volhard, and Eric Wieschaus to identify and classify 15 genes of importance in the genetic control of embryonic development within the fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster in 1980. These three scientists' work in 1980 was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1995. And because of all these years of research, we now have a greater understanding of Hox genes and their increasing importance in evolutionary developmental biology. I hope this video helped you to understand more about Hox genes.